Hey, good morning. That's right. When, when the jury gets back at 9 in the morning local time, the local DA says this will officially become the longest deliberation in the history of this courthouse. So it's something unprecedented for this area. And, of course, the entire Cosby situation is rather unique. What uh, Did they say anything yesterday? Did they come out and ask for more testimony? Yeah, we got two more questions from, from the jury. I mean, six or seven hours went by with them behind closed doors. And I think a lot of us were getting resigned to the idea that they might be deadlocked. But then they came out and they asked for a lengthy transcript readback of Andrea Constant's testimony. She, of course, is the, is the accuser in this case, and they asked for everything she said, essentially, about the night in question. That was her account of, of Bill Cosby drugging her, and then the next thing she knows, she, he's on top of her, but also included that cross-examination where the defense asked her again and again why she continued to contact him so many times and why she adjusted details in her report later. So uh, you can at least assume that the jury is taking this and their re responsibility very seriously. Well, that's right. I mean, that's the thing. Is, is uh, The judge, even as he let them go last night, really tried to praise them. He was heaping praise on them, praising their diligence. You could tell that he was kind of just saying, if we can just get over the finish line, I, I, I can see that you guys are, are trying your hardest. And it's worth noting that for all the talk about deadlock, uh, the jury has at no point come to the judge and said, I'm sorry, Your Honor, it's just not working out that well. They've never done that. You get the sense that they did. The judge would say, we'd like you to try a little bit harder for a little bit longer. But so far, he has not had to do that. Yeah. So you guys just sit around waiting for something to happen? Yeah, essentially. That's right. We have been able every now and then to speak to uh, Bill Cosby's chief spokesman. He came out yesterday and said he was actually quite enthusiastic about this jury. Of course, you'd imagine that a deadlock, if it's good for anyone, would be good for Bill Cosby. The DA here has said that they won't necessarily immediately move to retry this case. So it's very possible that even if the jury ends up today a hung jury, that Bill Cosby could walk away from that a free man. So, so the, the spokesman for Cosby is saying that he's very impressed with the jury and at least they're looking at all the facts and, and they're being very thorough, which might be an understatement. Any point. sense of how much longer? I mean, could it be days? Could it be hours? Yeah, theoretically, this could be over in hours or this could stretch through the weekend. And then these deliberation proceedings, of course, a lot of rules usually go out the window. You can deliberate on Saturdays if you need to. You can go late into the night. And so far, the jury has put in 28 hours of work on deliberations alone. Brad Melke, uh, we'll check back in when something happens. Thanks. Sounds good. Thanks. ABC News correspondent from Norristown, Pennsylvania, Brad Melke, following the Bill Cosby trial. He's he's. Wow, this the longest 